Hi class, we are here back in the micro lab and we are going to be going over the acid fasting today. Um, this is another type of differential stain. So um, in the past we've done the gram stain and we've done the spore stain and then this is the last of the differential stains. So what does it mean for bacteria to be acid fast? A bacteria is acid fast because they have a different structure of their cell wall. Their cell wall looks different than the gram positive and the gram negative cells. And it's not going to stain properly whenever you're trying to do a gram stain or a simple stain. Um, an acid fast organism is an organism which has mycolic acid in their cell wall. Their cell walls are thick and they also have mycolic acid. The mycolic acid is a wax. So it creates this waxy um, uh, coating uh, on the cell wall of the bacteria so that the cell wall is very, very difficult to stain. Um, so normal staining techniques um, really don't work. So we have to have this special uh, staining technique called the acid fast stain where the uh, bacteria are, we can stain them. Um, so examples of acid fast organisms are, there's two families, Norcardia and Mycobacterium. Norcardia is um, really not as uh, prevalent as the Mycobacterium. The Mycobacterium is the one that you're going to see in a clinical setting. Um, the two pathogenic strains that are mentioned in your lab manual are Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium leprae. Um, of course, the Mycobacterium tuberculosis is the bacteria that causes TB. And then Mycobacterium leprae is the bacteria that causes leprosy. Um, so this stain for a little while was not really done in the labs because tuberculosis, there wasn't a lot of it around because of antibiotics. And then lepra, uh, leprosy, of course, around 97% of the population is immune to. So it's really not, it's, it's kind of rare. Now TB, the antibiotic resistant strains are starting to come back. So we've started doing this stain again. Um, so the acid fast stain like I said, is a differential stain, so it has those four main steps, a primary dye, a mordant, a uh, decolorizer, and then a um, secondary stain or a counter stain. Um, so the primary dye in the acid fast stain is carbofusin. Okay, and so this acid fast stain is called the Kenyans acid fast stain because it uses Kenyans carbofusin. And carbofusin is a very, very, very strong stain okay so um it's going to be the strongest one that we use in our lab since those cells are so difficult to stain because of the mycolic acid we have to use that strong stain the mordant or the fixative is simply time now this stain is grouped in the same exercise as the spore stain because we used to use fire as the mordant in the acid fast stain just like we do in the spore stain however that gives off fumes um, that could potentially be dangerous so we don't do that anymore we just simply leave the concentrated stain on the smear for a long period of time um, so we just allow time to be our mordant the decolorizer in this stain is 2% acid alcohol, so that's very different than what we've used before. An acid fast organism is called that because the it cannot be rinsed out with an acid, so that's why it's called acid fast. Um, so uh, that's what we're going to use for the decolorizer because the acid fast organisms are going to keep the carbofusin stain, but the other non acid fast organisms are easily going to be washed out with that acid alcohol. And then our secondary stain or our counter stain is methylene blue. So at the end of the acid fast stain, if it's done correctly, your acid fast organism will be pink slash magenta. That's what color the carbofusin is. It's more like a magenta. And then the non-acid fast organisms will stain blue. They're going to keep that uh, methylene blue color because the non-acid fast organisms will easily that color will easily come out of them with the acid out using the acid alcohol, and then we will counter stain them with the methylene blue. So let's go and do our acid fast stain and see what it looks like. Okay, so I am here at the workbench to do the acid fast stain. I've got my smear made already. So I made a mixed smear with a Mycobacterium smegmatis, which is an acid fast organism, and Staph aureus, which of course is a non-acid fast organism. So that means that all in this smear together, I should have acid fast and non-acid fast organisms, so that way we can see them all at the same time. 
So before I apply the primary dye, I need to add a uh, filter paper, okay? So I'm going to just simply tear this filter paper and I'm gonna place it right over the smear. And then now comes time for my carbofusin, which is that really strong dye that I was telling you about. And it's a beautiful magenta metallic color. So we're going to completely flood the filter paper with the carbofusin. As you can see, that kind of pinkish red color that I was telling you about. And so we are going to let this sit for six minutes. And remember, that's the mordant for the acid fasting. We are just going to let it sit for six solid minutes. Then we'll, we'll, when we're finished letting it sit, we will move on to the decolorizing step. Okay, so I have let the carbofusin sit for six minutes. So I'm going to take the filter off and we have to dispose of this in the biohazard. So I'm going to put it on a piece of paper towel and then I will dispose of it once I am finished. And so now we've got this nice, beautiful, bright magenta colored slide. So we're going to rinse the carbofusin off so we can see our smear because it's got a lot of carbofusin on there. And now we are going to decolorize with our acid alcohol. Okay, now this is 2% hydrochloric acid alcohol, so we want to make sure that you're wearing gloves whenever you're doing this, which you should be anyway. And we're going to do this just like we were doing the alcohol for the gram stain. doesn't take very long. As soon as you hit it, you will start to see the color come off, come out of those staff cells. Okay. And again, you want to make sure that you hit it with the water whenever you're done with the decolorizing step because you want to stop that decolorizing. Because again, these acid fast organism, organisms are very resilient, but if you keep going with the acid alcohol, you will take the color out of them also. And we want them to have that nice, deep magenta color. So now I'm going to counterstain with my methylene blue so that I can stain those non-acid fast organisms. And I'm going to let this go for two minutes. And then at the end of the two minutes, we will rinse and blot dry and look at it under the microscope. Okay, so I've let the methylene blue sit for two minutes. Now we are going to rinse it till the water runs clear. Okay, rinse all that excess methylene blue off. And then we are going to blot it dry with our bibulous paper. And then we are going to look at it under the microscope. So here is what our acid fast stain looks like under the microscope at 100x objective lens. And so the pink cell that the arrow is pointed at is the acid fast organism. So that's the mycobacterium that um, holds on to the carbofusin stain and the acid fast alcohol. Uh, the acid alcohol does not work on um, taking the color out of those cells. And then we have the blue cells that the arrow is pointing at. And these are the non-acid fast organisms. So this is the staph that I told you that was in the smear. So um, as a reminder, the acid fast organisms are going to be magenta and the non-acid fast organisms are going to be blue.